Yes, people, how's it going? Probably not very good if you're a Tottenham fan. What a shit show. Arsenal 2, Spurs 0. Arsenal travel to Tottenham for the first time since 2014 and pick up a win. Pick up a convincing win. Pick up a win, which is embarrassing for us Spurs fans because they are everything that we want to be. Everything we want to be. They've got players who fight for the badge. They've got a manager who believes in the team. They've got owners who have backed that manager. And they're progressing. Even though all the fans were calling for Arteta's head, they've went from 8th to 5th uh, to fifth to now 1st in the league, halfway through the season. There's no progression at Spurs. Last season we finished 4th, right? And we're saying this season, oh, it'd be a great achievement to get into the top 4 again. There's no progression. There's no real direction at Spurs. Yet there is at Arsenal. Everything's going right for them, and rightly so, because they've got owners who have backed their manager. They've got players who believe they've done smart business with a good sporting director. No matter how much Arsenal fans want to slate him for that Madrid deal, he signed some great, great players in the summer, Edu. And then you look at us. We've got a catch-22 with Conte and Levy. Conte most likely going to leave at the end of the season when his contract runs out. Because he's not being backed. Levy won't back Conte because his contract runs out in six in six months. And he doesn't know if he's going to leave. So we've got that catch-22 going on. The players, you know, some of them on the pitch. Some of them on the pitch just look like they don't care. They really look like they don't care. And it's painful as a Spurs fan. It really is painful as a Spurs fan. Kane, Kulisevsky, probably the only two today on the pitch that look like they cared. Romero as well, I don't care if he nearly got sent off, at least he's showing some passion, which none of those other players did. Cowardly challenges from the likes of Son, Pape Matasar and Huibier, absolutely atrocious today. You know, floaty ball after floaty ball. It was just terrible. It was terrible all round from Spurs. Second half, I thought we'd come out much, much better. I thought we, we were much the better side in the second half, probably deserved to score. And as much as it pains me to say this, credit where it's due to Ramsdale, you know, and credit where it's due to Arsenal. They took their opportunity, they scored two goals, made, you know, made it too difficult for us to come back in the second half. Ramsdale made some absolutely excellent saves in that second half. That Sessignon one, you know, that's 2-1 in the 55th minute if that goes in and that, you know, changed the whole game. If we scored that, I, I probably think we may have gone on to win the game based on the momentum we would have got and the crowd being behind the team and Arsenal being weary. But Ramsdale made some absolutely fantastic saves, and you've got to give him credit for that. But it's just painful. It really is painful. We shot ourselves in the foot once again in the first half, and we can't expect Arsenal to crumble like a Brentford. We can't expect Arsenal to crumble like a Leeds, you know? Oh, we're 2-0 down. Come out in the second half. It can't be worse. Let's go for the game. We're not going to get back into it against these top teams. We've shot ourselves in the foot with defensive and goalkeeping errors, which we do every single week, whether it's Dyer one week, whether it's Hugo Lloris the other. That back line cannot be trusted apart from Romero. All of them are so, so capable of making constant mistakes. It's pathetic. And Hugo Lloris, I thank him for being a good servant of the club. But now, piss off. Seriously, you're costing us game after game. That's two North London derbies. This guy's cost us. Earlier in the season, his stupid error when we had all the momentum and had just equalised at the beginning of the second half, gave Jesus a goal and allowed them to win the game. Today, first 10 minutes were tight. First 10 minutes were cagey. Didn't really know what was going to happen. Saka diagonally puts in a simple, a simple ball in for Hugo Lloris to claim. If you can't claim it, Hugo Lloris, which you obviously can't, at least parry at it. Punch it away. The man pushes it into his goal. It's harder, it's harder not to score an own goal there. Look, seriously, it's coming at him straight. And he just flaps at it and it goes into his own net. It's terrible, terrible, terrible goalkeeping from Hugo Lloris. And too many errors are creeping in. He made the one against Villa. It's a stupid error. He made the one against Arsenal. Like I say, I thank him for what he's done. He's been a loyal servant to the club. He stuck at Spurs when he was in the prime of his career in 2017-18 to 18 when other clubs wanted him. He stayed at Spurs. But now it's getting to a point where he's constantly costing us games. Constantly costing us games. I think we also have to take into account, as angry as I am, 
And of course it's a North London derby, but at the same time it was top of the league Arsenal today. And I think a lot of Spurs fans were coming into this game saying we would have taken a draw. Couldn't even get that. Couldn't even break them down for a goal. It was just very, very poor from the Spurs today. Very lacklustre. Players looked like they didn't care. Fans sort of gave in. And I'm not even going to have a go at the fans for that because what are the players giving the fans? You know, what are the players giving the fans to cheer about? We had that 15 minutes at the beginning of that second half. And Paul Merson said it, as much as I think he talks out his backside a lot, he said something which was very true. If Arsenal hold on for those first 15 minutes of that second half, they'll hold on for the rest of the game. And we had about four or five chances. Sessegnon missed a couple of sitters, in my opinion. And then they went on to hold on for the rest of the game. We didn't take our chances. Shot ourselves in the foot in the first half. Conte, you know... I'm not Conte out. I think it's stupid to be Conte out. But you can criticise this guy. I'm not going to be... And a lot of Spurs fans, as soon as you criticise Conte, oh, you're part of the problem, rat ta 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 You can criticise the guy at the same time as being leaving Enoch out and, you know, focusing most of the attention on the owners. But he can do better than that. Why start Sessignon over a fully fit Perisic to deal with Saka? Saka turned him inside out today, Sessignon. Sessignon missed two sitters. Probably cost us the game, Sessignon. He let Saka go for that run. As much as it's Luis's mistake, it's Sessignon's man. He doesn't get that crossing if Sessignon deals with him. And then on the other end, he had that sitter where it was a floated ball and just flies it over. And that great save by Ramsdale with his leg. So, look, Sessignon, he doesn't get the criticism Royale, Royale does, probably because he's been as Spurs and it's always, oh, he's a youngster. He's getting older now. He's, he's not good enough at all. He's not good enough at all. Doherty today, very, very poor. And today is a message that we need investment in January. But I'll be honest with you, do I think we're going to get investment? No. That's why for me this club needs major surgery. Whether it be Enoch and Conte go or something. I don't know. But this club needs major change. And not just with the manager. It needs major change with the owners. It needs major change with the players. It needs major surgery to be competing at the top like them scumbags are. And they were brilliant today in that first half. They were brilliant in both halves. They, de they defended well in that second half. Sorted out their game plan. Time wasted well. Good tactics. First half. Dominated us. Took their chances. They're everything we want to be. And look, it's just painful. A lot of problems at the minute at Tottenham. We finished fourth last season. We thought we'd be the ones to kick on and challenge for the title this season. And we haven't been. We really haven't been. It's been them. They've been so, so good and it's, it's, it's just painful. It really is painful. I've got to be honest with you now, I think they might go on and win the league. I really do. Every season they travel to Spurs, they crumble under the pressure, crumble under the lights and the fans. They didn't today, they were so composed. Beat us. They've beaten Man United. Or, or not beaten Man United, they got Man United next weekend. But they've beaten Liverpool, beat us earlier in the season, you know. They're picking up result after result after result. And if they get a draw... Or a win next week against Man United. And I know they've got to play City twice. But I don't see them losing to City twice. Not at the Emirates. You know, they, they've only dropped two points at the Emirates all season. So, look, it's painful. Fair play to them. This club needs major surgery. Catch-22 with the manager and the owners. Will Conte get back to in January? No, I don't think so. Because it's just... Just painful, man. It hurts. It, it, it really hurts. Thank you for watching this video. Take care. All the best. God bless. Have a good rest of your weekend if you can. We've got City on Thursday. We still do the preview and reaction. Normally we turn up against City. It's another record that's bound to be broken. Bound to be broken. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. All the best. God bless. And as always, up the Spurs. And most importantly, Enoch and Levy out.